No. Peace. <laughs> Anybody watching this? I guess uh, I'm not usually much of the vlogger type. Like I got the thing, I got the setup. I don't really do it much. There's this gazebo here. I'm gonna pop in here. Anyways, uh, so I'm in this woods, sick as fuck. About to link up with someone, but I'm already in this sick location. So might as well pull out the camera and do a little video, right? Uh, I don't know if it's even gonna work, cause the mic is a little dead. But in the case that this does, I think I'm just gonna tell a little story here about, um, damn yeah, okay, this is a life story that people like. Uh, I haven't even been posting them because I've been undecisive on the ones that I pick to choose to tell as life stories. But you know, fuck it, I should just you know go for it. Also. This camera's ridiculously heavy. Almost, I'm already out of breath. I should definitely exercise more. So this story is about the one where somebody totally ripped me off for shrooms, which is hilarious because I guess there's people that, I don't know, they think of me as like weed tuber, like I still don't get ripped off on stuff like this. And this was total bullshit because we were like totally friends too. Like we spent a lot of time together. I smoked them up like a fuck ton of times. So it was kind of like disappointing. And uh, basically, one time we're over at his friend, at this guy's house, and he was like kind of a fuck boy. He showed us like his dad's guns, you know, like that kind of kid. And then um, along with that, he's like, yo, I found some shrooms. I'm like, okay, I've never actually tried them before. And I should have already had my red flag set off. Like, this is not the dude that you want to be having as the plug for psychedelics, but um, I was like, yeah, you know, seems legit. I'll just go for it. He asked for 60 bucks, gave me this giant fucking bag, and then I should have known from this point, again, that it was totally a scam because they were fucking, they were wet. They weren't even dried up, like, at all. So that's one thing to keep in mind, like if you're getting shoes, make sure they're dried out because that's how they're sold, they're not sold as a giant big ass bag of wet ass kitchen like shiitake mushrooms which is basically what he sold me i found out later and uh how i found out was i go home eat a fuck ton of them super excited i even made an instagram post and everything and then uh nothing happened like i just kind of i watched inception it was amazing i went outside and looked at the stars it was amazing i kind of like placebo effect a little bit I guess like the stars were really fucking cool but I also was lit and basically I just went to sleep like looked at the stars watched Inception went to sleep it was an all right night except the fact that I paid sixty dollars for a bunch of fake shrooms and then uh so I go hang out with my other friend who's also there while the fuck boy sold me the shrooms and then uh he tells me about it he's like yo okay gonna be honest I think uh I think, think he fucked with you. I think he fucked you over. I'm like, well, God damn it, really? He would actually do that. So I go over to his house. I'm like, yo, I need my money. He's like, oh, sorry, I don't have the money anymore. I bought a motorcycle and I don't have any money. I'm like, what the fuck? And then later on we ask him again. He's like, oh yeah, I quit my job so I can't ever make any more money again to pay you off. So then he came up with a compromise. I'm like, all right, fuck, what's, what's your compromise? And, uh, Essentially, he wanted to give me this old ass laptop. So I'm like, fine, I don't even want it. But like literally just because you owe me something, I'm gonna take something from you. So I took this shitty laptop from him and he warns me, uh, this whole thing is full of porn viruses. If you open it up, the whole thing is just gonna, just gonna be pop-ups, it's gonna be fucked up and... <sighs> so that's not real payment. Just got some shitty broken laptop full of porn that he gave to me and uh, so, and that's where this story gets even weirder because it's already, yeah, it's already a pretty typical rip-off story. But then on top of that, I guess the silver lining was later on, I met someone um, in this like business class thing and uh, he started a perfume business. I don't actually know where that went. Like I haven't kept in contact with them, but he needed a laser engraver to do the wood laser engraving for the fucking boxes because he's going to sell them in wood boxes. And uh, he already got the laser engraver guy set up. He already had all of that set up. He just needed a laptop to control the laser engraver. 
and uh it just happened to be that i got ripped off in all this shrooms and stuff right before meeting that guy so then when i met that guy i was like oh shit yeah just take my laptop full of porn viruses and he's like what i'm like don't ask about it you know he's like all right not gonna free laptop so yeah i'm out of breath because like i said what i said and also backpacks and stuff is heavy but i think that was pretty lit i'm glad that i got that done because i'm just kind of like wandering around out here gonna go link up with someone and glad that i got this in between there maybe i can hit upload on it soon but i hope you enjoyed watching this it's not only one life story holy fuck that was really sweet i should probably do more of that and uh yeah that just that was not that long ago that was like just now like <laughs> so peace out